Hi, welcome along for another video. It's Fordham back and I'm just out zipping around on the V11. It's a different wheel, but same kind of feel, I guess. Well, not really. It actually feels totally different and that's what's amazing. I've been wanting to get back on it for a little while just to chat a couple of V11 things. I guess I've done 10,000 kilometers on a V11 and I wanted to talk about how it was for me starting on a V11 and my thoughts, I guess, on anyone that wants to start on a V11. I've also chatted to Bob Yan and I've asked him his thoughts on what, um, what, what he thinks about starting on a V11. So I'm going to chat about that as well. And I get, I've also asked my mate Dave. So there's three people, me, Bob and Dave. It sounds like a new sitcom. You know, come along, we're just going to have a quick blast. I've been out every day on my V11 and it's just been wearing me out. So I keep talking. And when I listen back to the commentary, I'm just laughing or breathing too much. So I'm going to try to bring my excitement down and at least capture what I want to say. So come along and I'll, um, I'll do that today. This is nice. So yeah, I was talking to Bob and I asked him if there was any more about the adventure wheel, which he mentioned to me. And he gave me just a little bit more of a hint, which is a great start, I think. But yeah, he told me that, um, let me just double check exactly what he said, because I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. Okay, so this is my chat with Bob. I've got to say a huge thanks to Bob and the team at Inmotion for helping me out. They've sent me, you know, a t-shirt and some new pedals for this V11, which is looking fantastic for its 10,000 kilometer birthday. Thanks for the birthday present in motion. That's huge. Um, I've seen them supporting a bit, a few riders in the community now, and that's that's awesome that there's a company that's willing to get behind some of the riders and people still stepping up into this hobby. When I asked Bob about the adventure, I didn't really expect to get any more little bits of information, but he's given me this much at the moment. You know, it, all, all the right sort of things to have some fun, I think. You know, a small 16 inch, a lot of torque, strong design. He also said it's gonna be different than all the other in motion wheels. So I'm not sure if that's referring to the suspension or if they've got something else up their sleeve, but you know, they innovate um, and do it well. Look at this V11, this was the first wheel to have suspension. So, you know, for being such an early wheel and still being able to do what it does, it's amazing. The employees at Emotion prefer to start on the V11 actually, because it's just so well balanced and it's got the suspension which gives that room for error. And they actually prefer, you know, they find that the V5 is just a little bit small. So this gives them something, um, something a bit extra to hold on to. You know, he says, because once you grow into it, you know, there's heaps of room to improve on it. So it doesn't kind of, you don't grow out of it really quick. Because the UC is a hobby that once you get into the world, you just want more. And he's right, hey, like as soon as you start rolling, you just, okay, faster, more, longer, longer range. And that's kind of what... I enjoy and what I feel about the V11 as well. He says, you know, so once your skill levels outgrow the wheel, you know, some people have to buy another wheel straight away because you kind of pick up the skill pretty quick and then as soon as you do, you're off and not long, you're sort of outgrowing. You know, you're pushing your, your, your skills every day, your confidence grows and you want to go faster. And that's kind of where the V11 is going to grow with you, where some other smaller wheels, you're just going to grow out of them pretty quick. And then I just asked, I wanted to double check, was, um, was the V11 the first suspension wheel in the category? And he said, yes. How good is that? Like to come up with a new design, first of all, to have a wheel that rolls around and does what it does. And then to start to think, okay, we can push it a little bit further. Let's, um, let's come up with a suspension design. 
And they did. And so these air shocks, to me, they you saw me jumping before. I put some, you know, and I put it through a bit of hell, but it holds up. It's held up for 10,000 kilometers. Yeah, and then I asked him if he's going to continue, if in motion they're going to continue to support this wheel in the future. And they said yes, you know, um, they have plans to actually keep supporting it more. They've, they said that they've got, um, I think this is really exciting, they said, we'll keep updating the V11, and actually we're working on a project to refine the V11. So not just giving up on it, they're actually going to refine things further, and I guess we know that there's a bit of room to fine-tune it, and how awesome is that going to be if you can find some slight improvement on what's already an amazing wheel? So thanks so much, Bob, for like chatting to me and, and offering us your opinion on why you think it's a good wheel. I know everybody's got their opinion and their ideas and everyone's got their different preferences and styles and what they like. I jumped on the King Song 14D and I found that like pretty fun, heaps of fun, but really not much room for error with the pedal height and no suspension and it just feels so agile and active so all of your movements just straight on. I guess the V11 and all the settings it gives me, it allows me to give a bit of a bit more room to, to lean into things. I was chatting to my mate Dave, we were out mucking around on our wheels, he jumped on the V11 for the first time, and he was straight away on it, you know, he's, within a week he's really pushed his limits on the 14D, he's had the 14D about a month, and he's already just at his limit with it, he's loving it, and he's not gonna, no way has he outgrown it, but he wants more, you know, he already wants more, more range, more speed, and he's got the skills for it straight away. Some people just pick it up super quick. It's just muscle memory and if you put the time in, you get the results and Dave's put heaps of time in and he's really, really flying along. And I'm really stoked that he's caught that bug and um, yeah, he's into it. So I took him down, uh, we went down and just had a moment to catch up and I brought two of my wheels. I wanted him to test them. You know, I wanted to get some footage for this video to talk about somebody that had never walked onto a V11. And I'll show that, look how comfortably he just steps onto it and rolls off. It was like, I was kind of hoping it would look a little, a little more, yeah, storytelling, but he just was, um, looked like a pro within a minute. And off he went. No falls, no wobbles, nothing. And he really enjoyed himself and he had room to grow and to keep pushing it. That's the thing that Bob was chatting about and for me. This V11 was my first EUC and I'm just stoked with my whole, my whole adventure on EUC so far and this did it all for me. It started everything. Um, so I really couldn't ask more and I can only really talk about my, um, my journey. And, you know, I guess if someone wants to echo that, I wish you all the best and I hope it turns out like my journey has with this product and this brand. But uh, I bought this and didn't really know what to expect. I looked at a few YouTube videos and I kind of wanted... I had to look at your needs. When me and Dave were rolling, we were chatting about what, um, what makes a good beginner wheel. And we both kind of agree that you know, any wheel is a great wheel. If if all you can do is get a wheel, who cares what it is? It's going to start to teach you the mechanisms, the skills, like just roll, I guess. But if you've got the luxury to choose, you know, I guess that's where you start to think about it and you spend a bit more time. And all I can really say is if you're looking at a wheel like this, it's going to cover a lot of bases. It's a really versatile wheel because it's it's got what you need to commute, to have a bit of fun, and to learn into it without being an extreme weight and without sort of having an extreme speed. It's extremely safe. You've got a heap of safety, you know, you've got a heap of safety built in. You've got warning mechanisms. You've got smart battery systems. It's got 
you know, warnings that actually let you know when the battery is getting low and it won't let you push it too far, it tilts you back. It's got beeps, it's got ways you can customize all of that. You can lock the speeds, you can unlock faster modes once you, you know, there's like an Easter egg secret way to push it a bit further. So as you grow, you can absolutely grow with the wheel, which is a really smart way to keep you interested and keep you as stoked as I am for so long. You can look back at all my videos, the whole journey's been covered with the camera. And the things I've put this wheel through, as I've learned, you know, I've had my accidents, it's got some character, and it still looks great, and it still holds up really, really well. I'm, I'm, really, I'm not exaggerating how well this wheel's held up for those 10,000 plus kilometers. Zoom, and it's got that speed, it'll get you up to 50 kilometers, per hour I think you know sort of five to seven seconds you can get up to 50 kilometers per hour it's got room to swing with that pedal height you've got a good tire at 18 inches you can get down the stairs you can roll once you get the skill level to push yourself a bit further you can take your skills to the stairs and to small drops and a few little jumps and it's got the weather rating to get you out of trouble if the weather comes in You've got options for fast charging. You can add two charges to get it really, you know, get it going a little bit faster. So I don't know how much more you could ask. But for me, it's about what, you, what I could do with it. I needed a wheel that would um, get me to commute in this stormy season we get and rain can just come down. So I couldn't pick a really small wheel be, because it didn't have the range and it didn't have the speed to get me out of trouble. And it wasn't any way water weatherproof. So if I got caught, I'd have to sit at, sit under a bus stop for you know the, for an hour waiting for the rain to, to get over. So I was locked into a couple of choices and I guess really only one for me. So yeah, to know that the brand is going to stick by the wheel and keep, um, you know, keep releasing firmware and updating things and stick by you, the riders that have already bought this, they've got your back. That's amazing. Some brands don't so much do that. So, so you know, I, I, I know that was something that helped me pick and what makes me so proud to be rolling with Inmotion. This wheel is what sold me on the V13, knowing the adventure and the journey that I'd had on this. You know, there was no way I could, could pick another wheel when I was upgrading. For me, I, I just needed that same experience, but bigger. And that's what the V13's brought in, into it for me. So yeah, what a journey. I guess, you know, if you're starting out on this, it's all muscle memory and you just need to get on something and start rolling. You might be a little bit more intimidated with the size of the V11, but once you once once you get over that barrier, you know the size is really nothing compared to, especially the way the wheels are going. If you're going to choose this over some of the larger wheels, you know, and so for me, it's a it's an outstanding wheel. Like I would not um. I would not have expected any of this when I bought a wheel. I didn't expect to start a YouTube channel to get so stoked to be buzzed, to be rolling so often to, to buy more wheels. Just bought something to commute. And, you know, I just want something that meets my expectations. But this has so exceeded those expectations. So much. Still does. <laughs> I still am out learning new things. Still can't go backwards still find this easy to flick around more in the trails and learn those skills and this is the one I'm, I'm still out using to 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 get my skills up to lend to my mates it's great to have that backup wheel and keep progressing so you know whatever wheel you can get get one and start rolling but um you know when you're thinking about it Look at um, getting a wheel that you can grow past that that sort of beginner point and keep rolling with you can always replace the outer casings and get yourself a cover. 
you know, keep it protected as much as possible. So you're going to have those bumps and, and spills. And it's another reason that this is just amazing. It's held up with all of those bumps and spills I've ever put it through and more. It's, it's like, it still looks good. Still looks stylish. Looks great. So yeah, let me just go through it again. You've got a really, really great light. Still probably one of the best lights on any of the wheels. You've got that great daytime running light, which looks amazing. You've got a good speed and good range. Suspension's great, good travel, works great for any of the things that you need, especially in a commute and a small off-road. You've got the weatherproofing when the weather starts to grey up like it is. And it's small and easy to put in a shopping trolley when you need to push it up to the shops. Trolley handle's good, light's good, range is good, battery's good, fun's good. Uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So I'd have absolutely no hassles in recommending you get one of these as a beginner wheel. Lean up against the wall and start off slow. And you know, within a week you'll be rolling, maybe sooner if you like Dave and plenty of others out there. Thanks so much, Bob, for answering the questions and you know, letting me have a bit of an insight into the new adventure wheel. I think you're right. I mean, this is such a great wheel. I would recommend it to anybody I knew to start on and I know that they wouldn't waste their money. They'd have a huge adventure, really good resale value on this and to know that they're gonna keep supporting it. I think you can really be confident that your money's not gonna be wasted and you'll be stuck with a wheel that's not supported. So that's many, many reasons to go and buy yourself a wheel. There's also some sales on, because it's an older wheel, you can pick up a used model. You can also get a nice fresh sale um, on some of these wheels. So. I'll give you my um, discount code for e-riders who sell this wheel. That's e-riders with a Z, E-R-I-D-E-R-Z, here in Australia. If you use the code BAK50, bak 50 you'll get $50 off um, in a unicycle. And that'll also help me a little bit. So yeah, help them, help me, help in motion. And in motion, I've also put together a discount code. So just um that's amazing if you're going to buy from emotion you can use this code here and that will also help out the channel and yeah help them support me and you support me and we'll support the industry and together it'll all grow and we'll all get rolling keep rolling together as things grow bigger and better all right i'll see you next time for another video thanks bob thanks emotion thanks e-riders thanks grizzler thanks to all of you for watching I'll see you next time. Bye. And then back. Board. And then back. Board and back.